Hello Internet, this is Evan here, and we're going to be starting a series on um, Stanley Parable, I guess. I played around a little bit with it earlier, and... Uh, Stanley stood for a long time in one spot. It's part of a game. Announcer he likes to see how long he can go without dying. So far, he's doing excellent. And if he Shut just up. stays right where he is, I'm sure he'll keep up that good momentum. Anyways, Let's observe um, the genius of work. We can figure out what's going on in this strange little world. Um, so, so all of his co-workers were gone. Oh, what could gosh. it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had sure. simply missed a memo. Sure, this time, Mr. Announcer, we'll go to the meeting room. <sighs> When Stanley yes, came to yes, a set of two open there. doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. I'm so confused. Um, let's see. The future was yesterday, tomorrow is now. What? Um. Yeah, I feel pretty unique. Okay, I can take that. Oh. Ooh. Free to play. There we go. We're free to play. Let's go to the broom closet. Oh. Oh. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. I... but... okay. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I don't want to go upstairs, but... No. No. Okay. Hmm. I want to go to the executive bathroom. <laughs> Heck yeah. No. Okay. Sir? Hello? Sir? Um. Sir? Anybody here? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss keypad. had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 28 four five but of course Stanley couldn't possibly have known this yet incredibly by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad Stanley <laughs> happened to input the I correct could not have code known this of by course sheer not. luck amazing he stepped into the newly opened passageway passageway Ooh. hello there that well that's interesting A uh, button. Okay. Descending deeper into the building, oh, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. But, uh, it's dark in here. Um, where are we going? Stanley to walked straight ahead through the large door oh, that read no. Mind Control Facility. I'm getting the frick out of here. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. I'm not getting the heck out of here.
but of course, Stanley thought better of it and realized he simply had too much to live for. F you, announcer. F you. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? What's going on here? Now the monitors jumped to life, their oh. true nature revealed. Each bore the number oh, of an employee in the crap. building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This is getting pretty dark here. Okay. Um. Bathroom this side? mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Oh, no. He refused no. to believe it. It cannot he be. He couldn't accept it. Of course. His own life in someone yes. else's control? Exactly Never. what you're saying, sir. It was unthinkable, mm -hmm. wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had yep. he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Yes. Utterly blind. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls Absolute labeled power. with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this That's machinery it. would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he what? would dismantle the controls once and for all. Oh, I am, am I? Um, what's that do? And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to ev- Oh, Stanley. Yeah. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? Yep. After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Yep. Control? Yes. Oh, Stanley. I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You oh, were supposed okay. to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent. What? Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. Oh In my hell. This machine is activated without proper DNA identification. Nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. <laughs> How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? Yes. It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Okay. Shape it to your heart's desires. Let's go. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what okay. precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going. What, all this what are we doing? I barely Press know buttons. Where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna <laughs> die anyway. I'll tell you exactly <laughs> what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. 
Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you is quite rich. I almost hate yellow. to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? What? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Uh, oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? You Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're uh, supposed to be uh, doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that uh, something in this room was capable of turning it off? Push I mean, red. look at you. Incorrect. Running from okay, button blue. to button. Incorrect. Screen to screen. Green. Clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons. No, oh. these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button. Or this door. Everything, oh. anything. Green. Something here Is will he save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Where's Do the green you have button? any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. Green. But here's a spoiler for you. Green. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your <laughs> death. You're only still playing instead um. of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. This guy is dark. See you made humble. Let this me is go. not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world. That's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first. So Goodbye. You can't. No. No. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 no. seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will um, you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it count. Uh, or don't. It's all the same to me. Uh, all a part of the joke. I and don't believe me, die. I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the Four. moment I say happily ever up. Uh. Oh no. Oh no. No. Gosh dang it. Oh gosh. What just happened? Um. Well, I guess we're calling that a day. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, we'll uh, give this a try next time and hopefully we won't get blown to smithereens. Oh gosh.